Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today is Valentine's Day, and so I made a heart for you guys. Now, this isn't a, uh, you know, lovey-dovey heart. This is an actual model of a human heart, and it's not that accurate of a model, but it's good enough that I can teach you guys about how the human heart works using this Minecraft model. Uh, so the heart has four chambers. Here is the right atrium. Oh, setting my heart on fire. Put that out. There's lava, and it's interacting with the wool. It's okay because the fire took us off. Anyway, this is the right atrium. This is the right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. So those are the four chambers of the heart. Now, it might sound like I'm talking about them backwards, but that's because you kind of have to imagine that this is your heart and sitting in your body, and you're over here, and we're kind of looking at it from the side. This is going to get annoying. <laughs> um, so... But yeah, so the blue, uh, the water here, I guess, represents the deoxygenated blood, and the orange lava represents the oxygenated blood. Uh, of course, in an actual body, all the blood is red. It's not actually blue, even though it may look like that in your veins. Um, so basically, there's kind of a lub and a dub. When you hear your heart, it's lub dub, lub dub. And so those two sounds, oh my gosh, this fire, this is the worst. Those two sounds are caused by uh, the uh, valves that are in your heart. And, the, and there's a couple places where there are valves. Uh, there's a valve between the, at the atrium and the ventricle on each side. So that's this, uh, this white bit here. And you'll notice the valve is opening each, uh, each time. And when the valve closes, that's where you get the, the lub. And then the dub happens when there's another valve that, that uh, when the blood exits the ventricle here, the ventricle, and exits the heart. And you'll notice that's these. You can see it kind of flowing up and out. Um, there's another. That's, when the, that's where the dub comes from. It's from the valve on those uh, arteries. Uh, shutting. I did a lot of reading on Wikipedia to learn all this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so basically you have on the uh, left side you have the blood coming in through the pulmonary vein, and that enters. Uh, actually, no, I should start on I should start on the right side. It's so confusing the sides. Uh, the I guess okay. So the blood comes in through the uh, vein, vena cava. I probably said that all wrong. And so that enters into the right atrium here. And then that goes through this valve here into the right ventricle. And it gets, it gets pumped out through this, which is the, um, the pulmonary artery. And the pulmonary artery carries that deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Uh, the lungs, of course, add oxygen to the blood. And it comes back in from this, the pulmonary vein, goes into the left ventricle, sorry, left aorta, left, <laughs> left atrium, left atrium, that's what it's called, uh, through, through the valve here into the left ventricle, and then exits the heart through the aorta, which is this yellow, pa pa <coughs> yellow path here, and goes out to the various places in your body. So you can see that. So that's the whole path, and we can you can kind of follow it if you look. So you go like this, and you can see the valve opens here, and it flows into here, and then it uh, evacuates the ventricle here up through here. And so that's all shown by my model of the heart. It's not the best looking model, but hopefully it's good enough to teach you a thing or two that you didn't know about the way the human heart works. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.